What is up, fellow bench warmers? Welcome to Courtside DFS, your daily dose of fantasy DFS. My name is JJT, the fantasy bench warmers, and kasama natin si Komish. Komish? Yeah. Hi, guys. Alo na naman ako, ah. Pero high scoring, ah. Naka-300 tayo both today. Oo. Pero yung top, I think, 380, naka-3, may naka-380 yata today, eh. I'm not, I'm not ah, talaga? Nahit ba yung jackpot? I'm not sure kung 380 or 360, but definitely 360 and above ang ang na ano ang na hit today. So high scoring day today, high scoring. Yon so kaya tignan natin ang um, ng yare. Yeah, 381, 381 sa Hof Arena. So yun 381. Grabe. Pero dami ng gumawa kasi today. Um. Well, nakita natin lineup natin dito. Siguro pakita ko na rin yung 381 today. He had Payne, he had Rozier, so parehas kami doon. He had Garland though, and then he went with Mobley, same with me. Mm-hmm. And then yung Aiton and Portis, yun ang big, big combo niya eh. Aiton and Portis, which we uh-huh. talked about Aiton kahapon. Napag-usapan natin si Aiton kahapon. Sabi nga natin, he, he's playing well uh, as of late. Yan. So, tinan natin to. Um, lineups namin. Actually, Pretty much, ang la- daming same naman. Ang difference lang, yung Mobley was the game changer here. I think, no, malaking bagay yung Mobley. That's, ano eh, um, 58 points eh. So, I think yun talaga yung major difference. I think overall, everyone else is pretty much the same. Uh, uh, yung, 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 yung Mobley, pick, pick of the day natin kahapon din yan. Si oh, Mobley. Uh, because of the Jarrett Allen, di ba? Payne yep. is one of our favorites. Uh, yeah. Si Mobley was one of our di- si Andre Drummond was one of your favorites the boys so mga picks mo. Uh, and next flop lang Kevin Love, yes. not play well. Well, even Adams. Yung Kevin Love talagang hindi makita eh. He didn't play 15 minutes without Jared Allen who who, who would have seen that coming. So wala wala ganun talaga, ganun talaga. Yeah. We have to go to tomorrow's game na kasi 12 games tomorrow eh. Yeah, sige, Come let's on. go tomorrow's game, 12 games full slate. In full, days. full na full. Oh, Lebron. Full. Lebron out. Ay, hindi, hindi, hindi. Questionable. Lebron, questionable si Lebron. So, yan, wala tayong mapag-usapan dyan. Kundi, wake, wake up tomorrow, check if he's gonna play or not. Yun lang yan. Yeah. This is the last game I thought he was gonna play, pero hindi siya naglaro. Tomorrow, Booker. I think he's gonna play. Booker, uh, yeah, he's already with the team. But, uh, hindi pa siguradong maglalaro. Together with Tam Johnson, no? So, Very important to. Total, pag nandiyan na rin tayo, so para mabilis din today, uh, campaign kasi is $20. So, if Booker won't play tomorrow, I think campaign will be still okay. Pero kung maglaro si Booker, hindi na. Di ba? Hindi na ganun ka. Kasi 12, 12 games, 24 teams, ang daming choices for tomorrow. And then yung si Vucevic sa Chicago, Nikola Vucevic. So... Ano siya? Yung hamstring, still questionable. Uh, Tristan Thompson, as we all know. Kasi maraming games bukas, sabihin na natin agad yung mga... Mga replacements. At least yung mga uh, replacements pwede na natin pag-usapan. Uh, for tomorrow, kasi marami. Brandon Ingram, today didn't play. Possibly tomorrow will 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 also miss that one. That's very possible kasi hams, hamstring siya. Wala namang mas add dito, no? Pero just something to consider. Fred Van Vliet practiced already today. Although officially questionable pa rin siya. Uh, although Malakai Flynn is also out, yung backup niya. So OG is still out. So yun yung Toronto situation natin. And now the team na medyo maraming out tomorrow is Minnesota. Hindi medyo maraming out. Maraming uncertainties. Yeah. Because if you look at Minnesota's lineup, D'Lo and Anthony Edwards are questionable. But the coach said that they're already trending towards playing. Yan. On track to play na silang dalawa. But, syempre, walang kasiguraduhan niya, no? The other starters, Pat Bev is questionable as has always been. Uh, and then, si, ano, si Jared Vanderbilt is also questionable. So, in case lang itong apat lahat hindi maglaro, well, Jaden McDaniels, uh, Malik Beasley, yan, magkakaroon ng value. Pero kung maglaro naman si Edwards at si si Dilo, wala na masyadong value si ano si Malik Beasley pero si Van si Jaden Martinez 
kung di maglaro si Vanderbilt, I think could still be viable even if maglaro sila Anthony Edwards. Uh, $13 lang, yun, yeah? big. Yes. Uh, And then, sunod, sunod natin, and Fernie Simons. Uh, still questionable for tomorrow. Um, ito, crucial yan, bukas. Favorite namin ni Jeremy is Brandon Williams. Kasi Tumas na. 18 na. 18. Tumas na, nakita ko kanina. Oo. Uh, 18, 18 si Brandon Williams. Pero wala pa rin picture. Lagyan niyo na ng picture, Yahoo! Kawawa naman. Naka-50 points the last time out. Hindi mo lagyan ng picture. From 10 yeah. to 16 to 18 na. Pero I, I would not go to Brandon Williams tomorrow. Even if even if um, uh, Simons does not play. Because Utah game, parang hindi ako ganun ka-convinced na m- m- talagang mag-hit. Baka 30 points lang. So not as appealing. And then, yung mga iba like Bronson. It's another very important injury also. Because Spencer Dinwiddie would be a good play if Andy will get to Bronson. Mitch Robinson is uh, with an illness. So, think think ko baka hindi maglaro eh. But let's see. Wala ka rin makuha kasi Noel is also out. Taj hmm. Gibson naman, not okay. OB top. Wala, wala, walang replacement. Uh, no. yeah. And then, Covington is out. Uh, will Barton is uh, questionable with a sprained ankle. Ha, dami Si Jalen Suggs, questionable for tomorrow. And then sa San Antonio, the, the Devin Basel and uh, Lonnie Walker combo are both questionable. So if both of them do not play, I do see Trey Jones at $10 as a possible good play. Si Trey yeah. Jones. Uh, kung hindi maglaro both, ah, both of them. Kung maglaro yung isa, baka hindi na ganun ka... Good si Trey Jones. Pero the last game kasi hindi naglaro parehas eh. Alam natin si Stuart is already out. And then Neto is questionable. Christian Wood. Yun, guys. Questionable pa rin si Christian Wood. Yun. Yes. Kailangan naman. talaga to gumisig tayo maaga kasi alam mo naman natin. Yun. Christian Wood not Yun playing na. is equivalent to ano? Sengun. Alperen Sengun ang favorite ano natin. Season long stash. Actually, si Jason Tate, question of them. Yeah. So, baka sakaling kahit, hindi magla- kahit maglaro si Wood, if Tate doesn't play, baka mag-start si Sengun. So, that, that's that's something to consider for tomorrow. Yun, dami. Dami, dami. Out. Okay, yun na yun? Neto James. pa. Pero, Neto, pero, pero Neto. wala naman maglalagi kay Neto sa dami ng players yan. Pag okay, pero si pa- Ishmit. Si Schmidt, baka sakaling maging ano nila, maging replacement ni Neto. Sa so dami ng players, tingin mo, okay. Schmidt. Ano eh? Sa bagay, $40, di ba? $40. Oh. Dollars. Uh, 40 from... fantasy points last game, di ba? So, uh, so yun. Uh, sa 12 games na to, what are our nice uh, players? Nice oh. game. Lakers, Rockets. Yan. Yung Lakers, Rockets. Sunod-sunod yan eh. Lakers, Rockets. Uh, yung Atlanta, Milwaukee is also okay. Tama ba? Milwaukee yan. Tama. Yeah, Atlanta, Atlanta Milwaukee. Milwaukee. And then, uh, Denver, Sacramento. Denver, Sacramento is also also a good game there. Yan. Uh, magagandang game yan. Yung kanina, may nakita ko dyan eh. Yung isang uh, Orlando, New Orleans. Also, uh, probably uh, gonna be a fast-paced game, Orlando, New Orleans. Yan. Yan. Yan ang mga yeah. natin. Picks. Picks. Sa so, sobrang dami, ang hirap pumili. Eh. Um, ang tinitingnan ko dito, uh-huh. di pa lang kung mag-Dejonte ako or ano eh, Jason Tatum eh. Dejonte yes. versus Toronto. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, medyo... Um, yeah, alam naman natin one of our favorites na si Dejante because of the all-around um, stats that he gives. Pero si Tatum versus the um, versus Hornets. Charlotte at 44, parang maganda din to to select. Um, as looking at Shea, pero against, baka kasi ang takot to dito, baka tambahan. The last time they played tambahan, eh, 138 to 101 yata versus Minnesota. 
So at 44, Shea's been playing really, really, really well. Um, yes, yes. For ilang games na. Uh, kita yeah. naman natin, back-to-back, 68, 70 points, di ba? And, and look at the scores, the numbers, 30, averaging 30-plus 30 points per game. Very all around. So, si Shea, I think si for Kat tomorrow, si Kat sana, pero yun nga eh, if tambakan, yun lang yung worry natin. Carl Anthony Tass at 40, I think. I think for tomorrow, maraming, maraming good uh, plays nga. No? Uh, it's a matter of finding value wherever else in the 12 games para ma- makalaro kayo ng as a more expensive player. So nabanggit mo kanina, I like Tatum, but I probably would go to Jalen Brown. Although, sige, nandiyan na rin tayo. Although, nasa mid-range si Jalen Brown eh. Pero, since si Tatum... Hey, actually, baka na, maganda pag-usapan yung mga mid-range eh. Oh, Kung ito, 35 si below. Kasi, for sure, yung sa mga top picks, ang dami rin dyan eh, di ba? Yung mga above 45, 44 above. Sa okay, mid-range, yun, yun mas mahirap pumili. Hindi, kaya nga, yun na nga. Yung, yung Tatum kasi was, is a good play against Charlotte. We know that. But Jalen kasi is 29 yeah. against the Hornets. So that's a very, very good price for Jalen Brown on a fast-paced game. Kaya yeah. I would rather probably go to Brown than Tatum for tomorrow. But Tatum is a good play. Yung, yung, <clears throat> yung Shea also is okay with me. But probably I'm gonna look at uh, Jokic versus Sacramento for tomorrow. If in case you're gonna go for a real uh, top end player, Sacramento is very easy matchup for Jokic, and we know what Jokic can do. Remember the New Orleans game. I think this would not be a blowout. Uh, Sacramento is not a good team, but they they are competitive. So magandang matchup to. Si LeBron, kung maglaro bukas si LeBron, is also not a bad matchup against the Rockets. Hindi I. I Kailan ba nang taong tumambak ang Lakers? They haven't really, you know, blown out anybody the whole year. They have had problems with the Rockets. So if LeBron plays, it's actually all a good, a good pay-up option. So maraming pay-up options yung nabanggit ni Jeremy. Lahat yun nag-agree ako. And so far, itong mga sinabi ko, I think it's okay also. So yan, yan ang mga, yung mga lower-end pay-ups for me, CJ McCollum versus Orlando. Especially if, you know, Brandon Ingram doesn't pay $35. That's a mm-hmm. very... It's a very good price for for McCollum and also for for uh, Rudy Gobert. Kung sakali, but again, tambahan potential ng tambahan against Portland. So baka hindi tayo pumunta doon. But it's also a good good price si Rudy Gobert. So mm-hmm. yan, yan mga yon. Ah, yan. I think are appealing. Yeah. Mid-range. Yon. To Robert Williams. Yes. Here's a shot of $28. I think uh Nice, uh, pwede to. Pwedeng good play to si Robert Williams. Has been playing well. At saka all around, eh. alam mo naman, the, the stocks are nice. Um, I still go with one of my favorite lately, si Wendell Carter Jr. Double-double machine. Uh, although today was so-so. Not a bad game, uh, but not the 40-plus or 50-point game. Pero pwede na. Diba? At uh, had 36 for $28. Medyo wala masyadong defensive stocks and assists. Uh, yeah, sino pa sa'yo? Sa akin, si Kevin Porter Jr. of Houston. Uh, they're against the Lakers. We have we gave you the trivia before that uh, the Lakers give up the, if not the most, if not the second most, the most fantasy points sa guards. And Kevin Porter Jr., if you look at this year, he has been playing well against the Lakers. So, 22 is good. Yung partner niya, Jalen Green, $20. So, if hindi kayo pumunta doon kay Porter, Jalen Green, maganda rin yun. Uh, again, it's the Lakers. It's gonna be fast-paced. It's gonna be high-scoring with or without LeBron. I think Jalen Green is also viable here. And then, in case, kanina nabanggit na si Dinwiddie, in case lang na maglaro si Anthony Edwards tomorrow, I Contrarian lang. Ang dami kasing options eh. He's 25. He's 25. And if he's gonna play tomorrow at $25 versus OKC, uh, I like that. I, I I think he can he can hit 40 against OKC. If he if he plays. If he plays. So, yan yung mga nakikita ko dito. Yung 8 on at 26 is is kind of ano pa rin. Uh, for me, for me, not bad play. Although Miami kasi. So, baka hindi ako magpunta sa, sa 8 on. Yun, yun na. Uh, so, lastly, ko dyan sa mid-range si Bogdan. Porter is possibly still out. So, hindi uh, na tinataas yung value ni Bogdan. Let's go back to Bogdan. 
he is just hitting <laughs> so far. Oh. Just just hitting his 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 salary. Okay, value value tayo. No, Poku. may irapang value. Poku tayo. Mm. We'll go back to Poku Sevsky, one of our favorites pa rin at $17. Uh, good yep. play. Uh, Marvin Bagley. I'm looking at Marvin Bagley without Isaiah Stewart. $16. Uh, yeah. It's been parang na-feature siya sa ano eh. Sa pag dito sa Detroit eh. So I go with that and pinag-usapan natin kanina si Jaden no so si Jaden is another good play especially if out si na Pat Bev at $13. Yung mga nakita kong picks diyan sa lower end. Si Sengun syempre. Without yeah. Sean Wood. I think $14. I don't think you can go wrong. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Mahit lang niya kahit mga 30. Okay na rin yan, 'di ba? 30 points. Pero I I think 30 dapat ang target kay Sengkun. No? If yeah. Wood doesn't play, I would play Sengkun 100%. But Bagley would probably be the... Probably be owned more than 50% tomorrow. Bagley is a great play. Uh, Oli Nick, if in case you don't go to Bagley, it's very important to see who will start. Kasi hindi naman given na si Bagley yung start eh. Yeah. They could start Oli Nick and put Bagley off the bench pa rin. If Oli Nick starts, I would like Oli Nick. Sa fantasy DFS kasi guys, may, may, may additional value on starters over bench players. Hindi naman ibig sabihin pag starter na siya is gonna hit. But kumaga parang one foot on ano na in the in the in the hitting zone na kung kung nag-start siya. So could be Olinick, could be could be Bagley, whoever starts is, is an okay okay add there. And then yung yung Emmanuel quickly at uh, $16, we have already talked to him, talked about him na na looks really good. No, si si quickly. It's been lo- looking good. Yung mga lower end kasi, yung Jaden ni J- sinabi ni Jeremy nga, you have to really be sure na hindi maglalaro yung mga yeah. other players. In kung hindi, huwag niyo puntahan. <laughs> kasi baka ma maano ma- 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 kayo. Yung Austin Reeves ba yo mo? Yun niya eh, tinitigan ko na nga eh. Austin Reeves. Yan, Austin Reeves. Kasi pag, yung ko ng $11 player pag hindi ko ma-combo ng maganda. Tapos kailangan ko talaga ng $11 player. Austin Reeves style guys. Kasi $11. yung yung 11 ko na last time si Malik bukang hindi mag-hit eh kasi baka maglaro na nga sila Anthony Edwards eh. So hindi ko na mailalaban 'yan sa iyo. <laughs> Mukhang Austin Reeves tayo dito for tomorrow. Uh, in case ni maglaro si Ingram, si Devontae Graham would get additional minutes. He's also, I think, $11 or $10. Yeah. So, I think uh, Devontae, kung... Ang crucial dito, no, 12 games tomorrow. Ang daming games. Pero kung titingnan mo yung mga $10, wala ka masyadong makita. Wala, <laughs> wala. 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 Sa ngayon, sobrang konting players ang I'm confident or comfortable starting ang dollars. Mostly, 11 above. Uh, CJ LB of uh, Portland, you know, at 11. Mukhang yun eh. Yun ang more, more of ganun yeah. eh. Sa Portland tayo titingin din. Mga Portland players, meron mga values na mag-open up. So, yun. Yeah, I go through, tinitignan ko yung mga $10. Wala talaga eh. Walang okay. Pero Wala daming... akong masyado makita. Mer- meron akong mga bibigay, like sa Toransky. No, parang $10 yan. Ishmith is 12. I think kung hindi maglaro si Neto, Sato will be the backup of Ishmith. If he gets, you know, 23, 24 minutes, Sato can get to 25 to 30 points. Kung maka 23, 24 minutes siya. Which is possible if, Ish- if Neto doesn't play. So, yan, 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 mas may chance yung mga yan. So, may mga, mga value na ganyan na pwedeng mag-open up. Yeah. Or, oh, yun. Hindi na ako mag-look in hard. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Although ten dollars, ten dollars pa rin siya tomorrow. Hello, Luke Kennard versus ano na? Austin Reeves. Reeves ako, Reeves ako. <laughs> Austin Reeves ako doon. Wala wala tayong ano doon, wala tayong away doon. Wala, laging specialist na kasi si Luke Kennard, eh. hindi na wala nang ginawa kundi mag-dress na lang eh kaya yun yung hindi maganda kay Kennard. Eh. Oo. Uh, so yun Ayan. guys, uh, that's it for today's DFS. Ate, kailan pa tayo live tomorrow? Tomorrow, di ba? Ade. Friday. Friday. 
Live tayo on Friday. Kailan ba yung two games? Two, uh, tomorrow wala tayong episode because two games lang sa sa Friday. So Friday tayo mag episode for the Saturday game. Yon, yun pala. Pala yun. But yeah. tomorrow, I think tomorrow will be live for the season long. So back to back live sessions. Kaya mga 9, 9.30, we'll, we'll post it na lang. And then on Friday, we will also be live for DFS naman. Uh, DFS questions. We have a guest on Friday. Uh, i-announce ko na lang, although nag-guest na yung guest natin for Friday. Tomorrow, we're still confirming kung okay tayo. But tomorrow, season long, ulitin ko lang. And then on Friday, DFS live. Alright? Uh, yun. Good luck, guys, tomorrow. And we'll see you again for another episode of Courtside. Yeah. Bye.